You owe yourself a second look at this pumpkin man. For the poetry of his passion might pass you by if you let it. He is anything but your simple killer. Evil is a point of view. And talk to a hunter and vegan back to back and the point lights up clearly. To some, the pumpkin man elder grog hatchet appears to be that of an evil nature. He burns down churches, kills priests and politicians, not to mention police officers. So quite naturally one would assume he's evil. The point is he does not do so with an evil purpose. He's a soldier simply taking orders from his demoness Aphrodite. Furthermore, those he kills are in fact secretly serving Lucifer and his army of hell, which happens to be a rival hell army to Aphrodite's army in hell. Now these different armies in hell are fighting each other for control of earth. So he's a good servant to his demoness to whom he happens to truly adore and love. That takes me to the next subject. He's a passionate pumpkin who loves poetry and the least of humankind. With a strong taking to the outcasted and suffered among God's children both on hell and earth. He longs for what the humans have on earth, in particular a family, which he ends up collecting out of human friends anyway. Now these passions put a wall between him and his goals, eventually creating major conflict which creates his weakness. So the pumpkin is clearly not perfect. Who wants a perfect hero though? For the more he is flawed, the more we relate as imperfect persons. And with that, I hope you see the poetry, which is the pumpkin man.